Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you how to set up, well, JavaScript on a Mac system. So first of all, you want to make sure that you have some sort of text editor that you like. You could just use a built-in one, not very good. I recommend Sublime, it's free, easy to use, lightweight, and it's cross-platform. So you can use it on Linux, Mac, Windows, you get the picture. Okay, so once you're in here, what you want to do, first of all, is just save a file so go to desktop and I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to call it I'm going to call it JS project yeah JS project that is fine and in here I'm going to save it as index.html so even though I'm going to be using this in line with web development and HTML, the JavaScript side, you could use it with mobile applications that support JavaScript anywhere, really. Okay, so in here, we want to simply set up a quick, quick HTML page. And let's just do this. Again, it's gonna be a very quick one. With the body okay so now that we got all this just to save it there are a couple of different ways that you can use JavaScript in your website the first is to simply put a script tag and then you just put type equals text for slash JavaScript like so and in between here you put your JavaScript code this can actually be pretty much placed anywhere on your page. The main places you will place it is either in the head tag, and that means it gets run before the actual page is rendered. If you want it run after the page is rendered, maybe you're gonna you know, animate some element, perhaps. You would put the script tag or the actual JavaScript, whether that's in a separate file, which I'm gonna cover in a minute. You'll put it here, usually at the end of the body, and just before the closing body tag. And those are the two common places. If you just need it in one particular location within your HTML, you can put it there as well. That is fine. Okay, so that's one method. The other method is create a new file, save that, save it in the same directory. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I am going to call it custom.js. And now, you, again, you can place this code that I'm just about to do, ignore that, that I'm just about to do anywhere you want. So just put script, put type equals src for slash javascript and now instead of putting code here as you would for this tag, you just put src equals now you put the directory location of custom.js, so the exact location. And it's in the same location as my index.html file. I just put custom.js like so. So save that. And now if I were to just run this by double clicking it, it opens it up. And to confirm it is this one loading up, what I'll do is literally just put a quick header tag here and I'll call it hello world save it and now refresh and as you can see I do not know how to spell world save it again click refresh there we go and if we inspect it go to the head I think we've got this empty sorry inline script tag then we've got this file as well and if we go to sources we can usually in sources. Ah, it's because I haven't got any actual code there, but if I have some code in that JavaScript file, it would actually have this the JavaScript file here as well, and I can you know see it directly. So that's how you set up a JavaScript web project on Mac. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to contact me and I will see you very, very soon in the next video.